but I didn't even look at the price yet. Let's see what they say. $32. No, $325. I'm very confused. So I'm going to move on. My family calls it my superpower. It's my ability to see value in things that I can buy and flip for a profit. I'm the Crazy Wife Lady and welcome to my channel. Okay, well today we are in Maryland and we are at Antique Crossroads. Um, the past few times we've come here, we've bought a ton of stuff, which is really surprising because there wasn't a whole lot of time in between. And that means that they restock often. So I love places like this. It's been about two weeks, maybe three since the last time I was here. And I'm very optimistic that we're gonna find something to buy and flip for a profit. Here we go. Here we have a carnival glass vase. Obviously, it's marigold in color. A little bit of hard water stains in there. They only have $21 on this. And uh, I feel like that's a reasonable price for a vase of that size. I was browsing these shelves and noticed this dish in here. Oh, it's broken. No! Looks like they taped it and it actually broke against the tape. That's such a shame. I was like, oh, look at that. Never mind. False alarm. Here's a little redware plate as well. Let's check that out. Waynesboro Angle Bowl. Interesting. I'm so used to seeing all the Pennsylvania uh, redware, but I don't think I've ever seen that one before. Oh my goodness, look at that quilt. I think it's a Texas, Texas scar. I think it's a Texas star or Lone Star quilt. And uh, it's, I just love the colors of it. Documentation does this interesting I wonder what that is Kent County quilt documentation project oh interesting we've bought a quilt uh, before that had a bunch of documentation with it as well this says prairie oh the prairie star so the whole tag just popped off um, some spots $135 this is probably my favorite pattern of quilt I don't know why it just is and uh, I actually have a quilt with this pattern on Juliet's bed. kind of like that one. It's $135, so I guess I'm just going to have to think about it because I have so many quilts. But I don't have so many with this pattern. That's the issue. I see a little froggy over here. He is from Mexico. Trinket box, $4.50. He's Talavera. Um, he's not marked, though. But that's what he is. He's Talavera, Mexico. You can just tell by the bright colors and the design of him. Wow. Look at that. Three-tier German made nativity hanging pyramid. I've seen these before as trees. I have never seen one like this. That's crazy. They have $495 on it, and I have no idea. Um, I feel like that's probably right i mean it's a really really cool piece and then um I, I feel like these spin like the trees i would assume that's just super cool never seen anything like it down here uh 85 dollars little french majolica well here is a nice art glass vase it has a blue interior clear exterior $16.99. I like that. I think we'll take that with us. And then the other one I was noticing was this. The frog is not connected, so we're going to just move that out. I don't want to drop it on anything. And so, looks like it's an Asian design. Um, not really sure about that. That frog is really heavy. <laughs> I'm sure you just heard me set it back down. Okay. Okay. Well, I love this booth because it is so full. Every time I come in here, I always see something new. <laughs> it was probably there the time before, but um, it's just really hard to focus on everything. And as a result, it's always a new booth to me, which I love. So we're going to see what we spot today. And I'm going to show you guys what I'm looking at. So, um, obviously, this is a locked case. If we want anything out of here, we got to go up front to get a key. There are some really cute little guys. Now, oh, look at these. All the Joseph original mice. 
Wow, I didn't realize there were that many of them. They're so adorable though. So, Bulldog up here is very sweet. $15 on him. He's Clemenson Pottery. <laughs> it's adorable. I don't know much about Clemenson Pottery though. I also like the little puppy dog back there with the rhinestone eyes. That's very kitschy. Let's see what we got on that. That's $15. Lego Toodles. Something Maltese dog with little rhinestone eyes. And that's only $15. Was it a bank? Oh, it is a bank. I didn't realize that. I'm like, there's a cork in the bottom. It must be a bank. <laughs> All right, we'll take Toodles with us. Toodles is very sweet. Um, this looks like it could be a California pottery of some sort. What does it say? Cordella. Cordelia? Oh, it's ceramic arts, maybe? Mm, can't really read that. Let's see, little lamb. Um, what is this sheep in the back? Let's take a peek at that. This one is California lamb. <laughs> the face. I'm a little confused by it. I'm very confused by it. Oh, I see. There's an eye and a cheek. There's the mouth and there's an eye and a cheek. Okay, so it's facing this direction. <laughs> oh, boy. All right. I had to work that hard to figure out where the face is. That's probably not a good idea. All right. I think we're going to leave with our little toodles. There are a ton of mugs on this back shelf. And uh, I noticed these ones in particular. Um, somebody posted recently in my group about this coffee company. Um, and I can't remember the name of it. I'll put it down below. Um, but some of their mugs sell for crazy money and they're very similar in style to these now these are uh, maryland renaissance festival um i've been there <laughs> and they're uh this one's 24.99 i think one of these was like 15 bucks and i'm thinking to myself you know they probably charge a lot more than that at the renaissance fair actually i'm pretty certain they do because ashton bought an art glass fish once at the renaissance and the maryland renaissance fair I think it was like $120. Um, I didn't realize the price until after. He was putting it in the bag. So now I'm going to start looking for mugs that have a similar look to this. Okay. Including sale firm and net. 15 off each item? I'm very confused. Usually when it's firm, you don't get any discounts. But I think this means that it includes the firm. So that's great. I was noticing this face here. Um, signed and dated. $45 before discount. Oh, let's see what it's signed. Because that's a nice piece of glass. It's signed MAD. I don't think I've seen that signature before. I've seen HAT, but I've never seen MAD. So I don't know who makes that. It's like writing. I wonder if that's supposed to say love. Um, it's got that diacroic. I'm sure I just butchered that glass in there. This is hot. <laughs> I think I'll grab that. We have a box purse. It is an Enid Collins. Enid Collins, $75 firm. But is it included in the sale? I don't know. That toggle makes me a little nervous. I don't think I've seen an Enid Collins duck purse before. I see the money tree one a lot and I see a few of the other designs, but... I've never seen the, the duck purse. So I'm really not sure at that price. And I don't have a cell phone signal, um, so I can't look it up. Look at these two weirdos down here. Kind of looks like Smee from uh, Peter Pan. Let's see what the tag says. Exclusively, exclusive license baby berry toy. Wow. What is this one? This one is the same, I think. This is the old captain. <laughs> Dog patch family. What is this? I think so. Interesting. I like them. But I didn't even look at the price yet. Let's see what they say. 
$32. Mammy and Pappy Yoakum. Little Abner. No, $325. I'm very confused. So I'm going to move on. This booth has a ton of cubies. And I think of all of the cubies, this one looks the most interesting to me. The puppy dog. There's no markings on it though. And they have $25. That is not an alarm, that is somebody's ringtone. There are some plates and this one has, um, I don't know if those are titmouse, maybe? $15 signed bird plate. Um, it's signed right there by Margaret something something. Um, it could have been just somebody painting. Poor son, $15 and I don't know if there's any discounts in there, but I like the shape of that piece with the scrolled edges. And uh, the birds, of course. There's more birds here, bluebirds, but I'm not as excited about the bluebirds. And it is a different, um, a different artist. Here we have some whole Howard, and down here are some sweet little piggies. Piggy uh. went twelve dollars. Mm. I like the whole Howard, uh, but they're fifteen, and I feel like that's probably right around what they're actually worth. Like here, they've got all their planters out because it is almost spring. I like this guy, Czechoslovakia possibly. This is a German, thirty-five dollars. Hey, Pam. I don't know what thirty-five. That is a beautiful plate. Twenty-three dollars. Bavaria. Some cute little poodles. Oh my goodness, look at these little guys back here. <laughs> They're very sweet. And they're surprisingly intact. Let's see what the price is on those. $14. You know, I say they're intact, but it looks like a few of their little flowers are missing on this guy. Left in. I might grab those just because I haven't seen those before. There's a lot of left in I haven't seen, though. I will, I will say that. Um, this planter is adorable, too. Stuff makes me think of Kate. <laughs> she loves stuff like this. $15 rear Napco egg shaped planter with a little kid in his basket. His bunny ears. Um, I might grab that as well. Let's check this out. What do we have on this one? I kind of like the shape of it. 80, 80, I think it says $80. I'm not sure I could do 80 on that and still make make anything. This is the other booth where I've had decent luck in the past. I feel like the one time I just cleared out the entire case. And the time after that, I bought that beautiful Van Burgle light, which I'm going to try to incorporate into the nursery. So you guys haven't seen that on eBay yet because I'm going to see if it works. If it doesn't, it'll probably go up on eBay. But we're going to check out this case now because it um, looks like there's some new stuff in there. Unfortunately, we will need to get a key if we uh, if we zero in on anything. Over here, we don't need a key. We've got all of these Egyptian statues. Here is a small little Bjorn Windblad vase. I can't remember if we looked at this before. They have $15 on this, and I don't think it's included in their sale because it has a white tag. Um, but I just picked up a Bjorn Windblad plate at Goodwill a few days ago. And I think that um, I think that maybe I'll pick up a vase as well. Also, like this vase. What is this? Royal Worcester vase for ten dollars. Yeah, it's marked on the bottom. Um, there's no chips or crack. Oh, no, I take that back. There is a there is a chip there on the edge. So only ten bucks. So this was the vase down here that I was interested in. Um, it looks like it is half off of $40. I'm not sure whether or not it is signed, um, but when we get it out, we can probably take a closer look at it. I kind of like the form of this vase in the back. They have $45 on that. Um, so I think I might, I might get a key for these cases. 
There's no signatures on it, but... Oh, wait, there is a signature right there. Okay, I will take this one. Okay. And then... Um, up here, there was that twisty vase next to the candlesticks. Are you just... You put a category of this in a file or something? No, I have a YouTube channel. Oh, yeah. <laughs> this isn't going live right now, is it? No, it's not. Not live right now. <laughs> <laughs> well, later. <laughs> yeah, I really like that. I'll take that as well. Um, and let me make sure there's nothing else in here. So, you're buying this for resale. Yeah, this is a drag oil. <laughs> it's a really interesting thing. I, I don't know. It's a creature of some sort. Not really sure what's going on there, but he's kind of a weirdo. I like him. Uh, this is a beautiful Majolica piece for a hundred and seventy-six dollars. Seventy-five. I'm sorry, hundred and seventy-five. I'm having a really hard time reading prices these days. I just have a tendency to make things up. Uh, down here is this um, dimpled vase for seventy-five dollars. It's probably Bohemian, and seventy-five is. A pretty reasonable price for that I think um, I think there is a little bit of wiggle room there to make make some money um, the bowl you can see Costa Boda bowl by Bertil Valian um, at 150 that's a really nice bowl uh, we actually have a Bertil Valian piece right now I think I can't I don't know if it's listed or not there is a beautiful beautiful purple vase here and I absolutely love it um, it looks like it's only 90 Maybe that's 40 I don't know. I think it's $95. Um, but there is a chip on the rim, which I was all, I was like, ah, $95. Um, I probably would have bought it if there wasn't a chip. But it probably would have been more than $95 if there wasn't a chip. Right. Oh, it's got a beautiful base. All right, yes, I think I will take that with me. I was checking out this cloisonne vase. It says as is. I wonder if there's damage to the cloisonne. Oh, there is right there. Looks like it was dented. That's a shame. Looks like an older piece as well. I don't know. It's 35. It's really pretty. Um, trying to decide if it's worth forgiving that because a lot of the cloisonne I find does have dents and stuff like that is kind of <laughs> to be expected on a lot of pieces. No, I think I still might grab that. And before we move on, the other one I wanted to check out was this. What is this? That's oh, just an art pottery. Tate Weber vase. $50. I like the design of that. But I don't know anything about T. Weber except that that's a nice base. Okay, well I think I am going to end this video right here and we are going to pick up tomorrow where we've left off. Obviously we found some really great stuff today, but we've barely scraped the surface. So we're gonna get back to it tomorrow and I will see you then. Thanks for watching and I hope you enjoyed this video. In case you spotted something you just can't live without, we do post 25 to 30 new items in our eBay shop every single day and I've posted a link to that down in the description.